Hello everyone, in this tutorial I will show you how to implement tone shading with outline. I'll start by setting up the scene. This step is not very important for this tutorial, so I'll go through it quickly and without commenting. Let's now implement the cell shading shader. Create a new shader. Remove the instructions we don't need. Create a new material and call it Tune Body and assign the shader to it. Assign the material to the body. To create a Tune Shader, we will start by implementing Diffuse Shading. I'll briefly explain how Diffuse Lighting works with directional lights. The intensity of each pixel on the sphere depends on two variables, the light direction and the surface normal. N1, N2 and N3 are the normals of the sphere at points P1, P2 and P3. The intensity is maximal when the light direction and the normal are collinear. In this example, the intensity will be maximal at point P1. The intensity equals to zero when the light direction and the normal are perpendicular like in point P3. Now how to calculate the intensity in point P2 and in other random points on the sphere. This is calculated using the cosine of the angle between the normal vector and the light direction. In the animation, you can see that the cosine of the angle between two vectors equals to 1 when they are collinear and facing the same direction, and equals to 0 when they are perpendicular. The minimum value of the cosine is minus 1 and the maximum value is 1. We'll get a negative value when the light is behind the point. The cosine of the angle between the normal vector and the light direction is calculated using the following equation. Since we usually normalize both the normal and the light direction, the equation can be simplified to this. Let's go back to our shader and implement this logic. Let's start by getting the normal vector and transforming it to word space. We'll do lighting calculations in the fragment shader. Calculate the cosine of the angle between the normal vector and the light direction. The world space light direction is stored in world space light pose 0. The world space normal is stored in i dot world normal. All what we have to do now is to normalize both vectors and calculate the dot products.
set the min to 0 as the result can be negative in cases where the light is behind the shaded point. Go back to Unity. We now have the fuse shading working correctly. Before implementing Toon Shading, let's add the possibility to change the color of our object. Create a new property called Albedo. Then in the Fragment Shader, multiply this property by Cosine Angle. Go back to Unity. You can see that we can now control the color of the material. Now it's time to implement cell shading. To get a stylized look, we have to restrict the number of colors we show. So instead of getting a smooth gradient, we want to get less distinct values. This process is called color quantization. The smooth gradient in this image represents what we get with diffuse shading. The image on top shows three shades of the gradient and the one on the bottom shows five shades. Let's see how to implement this in our shaders. Add a new property called Shades. This property will control the number of shades we want to get. Now add the code to quantize the diffuse component. Go back to Unity. We now have a fully working tune shader. Let's now add the outline. To do that, we'll add a new path to draw a larger version of the model, but instead of rendering the front faces, we render the back faces. Let's go back to the shader to add the outline path. Copy the current path and remove the code that we don't need. Set call mode to front to draw back faces instead of front faces. If you go back to Unity, you'll see that we still can't see the outline. That's because the outline path is hidden by our shading path. The next step is to increase the size of the model. Go back to the shader. Go back to Unity. You can see that we now have an outline. Let's add the possibility to change the color and the size of the outline from editor. Go back to the shader. If you go to Unity, you can see that we can now change the color and the size of the outline. That's all for tune shading, but before finishing this tutorial, there is one last thing to add. If you notice, the body of the chicken doesn't cast shadows anymore. To work around this, go to Unity and add a fallback shader. This is the end of this tutorial. Thanks for watching.
and don't forget to like and subscribe.